What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to get the Ryzen power plans back in Windows if they've somehow vanished for you after an update, reinstalling Windows or anything like that. What exactly are they? Well, if I simply hit start, type in power and click choose a power plan, you'll see the Windows power plan options here. As you can see, I have balanced, ultimate performance, high performance and power saver. You may see more or fewer depending on your setup. But if you're on an AMD Ryzen PC, you usually see AMD Ryzen power plans here, which should be optimized for your setup. How exactly do we get them back? Well, first of all, you should visit your manufacturer's website for your motherboard. I have an ASUS ROG Strix X570F, so I simply did a Google, found the information page for the motherboard and simply click the support tab. From here, I can head across to driver and utility, select driver and tools, then choose my OS. Of course, this will be slightly different for you depending on what motherboard brand you have. If you're on ASUS, ROG, this is where you'll find it. Of course, under your specific motherboard. This is very important. After doing this, simply scroll down until you find the chipset drivers. This is what we'll be downloading. For me, I usually click expand or show all just to see what these other downloads are as sometimes they're separate pieces of software or specifically for certain combinations of hardware. Although everything under here all seems to be the exact same piece of software, just different versions. So I'll download the latest version, which will download a zip. Then I'll open it up and I can close out of my web browser. Once the zip is open, I'll simply extract it to a folder such as the folder on my desktop. I'll make one here temporarily that I'll delete afterwards. I'll drag everything out of the zip into the folder and I can delete the zip if I wanted to. Next up, opening up the folder that we just extracted, simply run one of the setups in this folder. Usually I run ASUS setup, but of course, if you have a different manufacturer, it could be something different. After this, usually a piece of software will open up as such, the AMD chipset software installer. From here, you can choose whatever options you want here. I'm gonna leave absolutely everything checked but as you can see, the first option is AMD Ryzen Power Plan. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I'll then click install and wait for it to run through everything. I'll simply restart my PC and everything should be there as usual. There is another place that you can get this piece of software if your motherboard manufacturer website doesn't have it. I can go ahead and delete this folder now. Simply head across to this link in the description down below, amd.com slash en slash support. Of course, EN may be different for you if you're looking in a different language. Once this page is open, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff here. I don't have a Radeon graphics card, but I do have a Ryzen chipset. Instead of downloading this auto detect and installation software, I know exactly what my motherboard is. So you can either search for it on this list over here, or you can simply select it from the list. Chipsets, AMD AM4 socket, and an X570 motherboard. After selecting everything, I can click submit, and I'll be able to download the latest version of the software. Expand Windows 10, latest version 2.10.13.408. I'll click download. Now we get a similar installation. This time we just have to run it. We don't have to extract anything. You can click on it to open it up, wait for it to extract as before, and it'll open up as such once again. Then of course you can simply click install and wait for it to finish. It's that simple. If I hit start and type in power, I can click choose a power plan. And this time, as you can see, AMD Ryzen balanced, AMD Ryzen high performance, and that's about it that's been added here. Of course, a Windows restart has been scheduled, so make sure to do that before continuing on with your normal work. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.